So you brought this in today. As you look at that, what do you think? So many memories. 1996, our family moved to Eden Prairie. I knew um, when Dr. Bill Gaslin interviewed me that this was a district of excellence at the time and a place not only that I wanted to be a part of, making a difference and contributing to the work here, but that I wanted our family to be a part of the community and our children um, to be a part of the district. I searched a lot of schools and like the district and the benefits, the education-wise, academically, um, the future college-wise. I was really glad we made the right decision to move in this district because we get what we wanted and it's really amazing. The level of passion, the level of commitment, the level of willingness to jump in and learn and really first and foremost, love them first, is exactly what we need our staff members, our teachers, our administrators to be um, and to focus on. My high school counselor, she has probably been the biggest help for all my classes since freshman year. She told me what classes she would recommend for me, what my options are, um, what the best route to go to get my credits done, but also focus on what I wanted to do in high school as well. And I, if I didn't have those meetings with her, I'd probably be completely blind. I had this little hobby that I've done since I was a little girl, and that's painting rocks. So I would paint, uh, take a little round rock and paint a, a bug on it, and then I'd give it to them. There would be someone that I drove in previous years, and they would um, come on and say, oh, Mrs. Karen, I still have my bugs. And it always amazed me that, you know, a little painted rock was something that always, you know, made that connection with the kids. Because I love to work with the young kids, especially Kitty Gardens, uh, because sometimes it's, um, it's kind of a little bit uncomfortable when they're from home for young age and then they come to school and they see everybody speaking English. And then when they see me speaking their um, mother's language, they just stop by and they feel like, oh, somebody speaks same language, can be here. And then we, they talk to me and that makes me really joyful. A girl that um, I had since she was in kindergarten, just really shy and scared to be on the bus. And she would just, she started talking to me almost all the way to school. She still keeps in touch with me. She sends me letters <laughs> about her life and I love it now, of course, she's graduated and, you know, uh, it's interesting to see what's happened with her life. Those are the things that you try, the connections you try to make to try to make a difference in their day. Eden Prairie School staff are involved. Um, they're there if you need them. They make sure you know that you can get help from them if you need, but they always put themselves out there. And I think that's just the type of people that we have working at our school district. Excellence amplified to a new level. We can't even imagine what the future will bring. We're preparing our children today for jobs we don't even know what will exist. And what I know is that we will emphasize on the right things, ensuring that our children, as they leave this system, that they will be well prepared to enter into the world of career, of life, of whatever the opportunity brings for them. Um, it will just get better with time.